This week's Parsha presents Parsha's Kisabu. I'm the chairman of Shivata Shibeno, the work of Rosh Hashiva on the Israel Shalom channel, and together we learn and study God's Torah. And the Parsha says, Vaya Kitavo el Aretz, Asher Adonai et Orefa Noten Nechra, Nechala, Vashta, Vashtaba. ולקחת מראשית כל פרי אדמה אשר תביא מארצך אשר אדוני אליך נותן לך ושמת בתדר והלכת אל המקום אשר יבחר אדוני אלוהיך לשקד שם שם. So the parasha opens up when we come to the land of Israel and uh, we take from let's say our apples or oranges whatever goes on and we take it to the Bet HaMikdash and we give it to the Kohen and then the following of the parsha says, "Vanita v'amarta lifnei Adonai le'avecha Arami oved Yivri v'David v'ered Mitzrayim v'agav shem nutem et v'isham negur gadol yotzebro." Basically, the whole story of how we were in Egypt and how now we're finally in the Holy Land, and we're going and we're saying thank you to God. And this food, what we give, is called meiser. Maaser is showing for God appreciation that we know basically that He's giving us all this goodness. And we're, by for us going to the Kohen and giving it to Him, we're showing that we know it's come from Him. Just like everything else in Judaism that comes to show a Shem inside. Let's say when we walk in the door, we have a mezizah. We wear a yarmulke that will show us God's above us. The mezizah has God's name in Shema Yisrael inside. And the extra, basically always reminding us as Jews who gives us what they give us in there. Now, the point of this parsha is it's telling us that uh, not only God gave us a present, that that's the land of Israel, but we see that it's producing because it's not saying only that we come to the land of Israel and straight away we say thank you to God. But besides saying thank you, we actually take the, the fruit that grew in the land and we give it to Hashem, to the Kohen, basically, my servant Hashem. So, we have to learn from here a very important message that the good things that Hashem gives us we have to use them for the good things because if God gives us the land and we don't do what He wants us to do then we won't necessarily have all these good things and good presents from the land. The fact that we made it here to the land of Israel obviously is a very big thing but it's still not the complete thing. Like today we're still missing having Mashiach over here. We still have a lot of wars and fights like we see with the Mifzat Suketan, with the war in Gaza. All these things happen when we don't listen to God. So we say, oh, we still got this present of the land of Israel. But the question is, are we using it in the right way and doing God God's will? Or are we going against Him? And then He says, you know what? If I give you this present and you don't know how to use it, then maybe I'll just take it away. So, I want to bless us all that we always realize the purpose that we're here in the land of Israel. It's because it says, that God promised our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that He's going to give us the land of Israel, and that's why we're here. And we have to use it for the good things, to get close to God, to love each other, to be who we are, united as Jews, as human beings. And the Zrat Hashem, if we all do so, and we realize our purpose over here, and we do all the mitzvahs, then 
Because like I said, Moshe will come sooner than later, just like we say every day. Ani ma'amin be'emunah shlema, be'vi'a ta Mashiach, ve'af al pi she'it ma'amaya, im kol zeh, achakelo, be'chol yom she'avo. Thank you very much.